Hey everyone, it's Jolty and Kalen, and we're here on May 19th with the 24th show up from the middle. School's coming closer to an end. Are you excited, Kalen? Yeah, I can't wait for summer. Me neither, but I'm a little nervous for next year in high school. Are you? No, not really. I'm actually excited to go to high school. Well, let's go to James and hear about someone else who's switching schools. Hello, WCMS. This is James here for a very special episode of From the Middle. I'm here with Mrs. Crutcher to inform you on her move to Sunset, as you can see. It's sad that she is leaving, but she sure did a great job here. So, Mrs. Crutcher, what, what was your favorite thing that you did in your time working here? My favorite thing was working with the Special Olympians. Cool. What will you do in your new position? My new position will be second grade through fourth grade special education. And what is one thing you will miss most about WCMS? I will miss my coworkers and students. Good luck to you and your new job. See you later and goodbye. Hi, Aiden here. In the fifth grade has been doing uh, research projects on history and you can do your projects on the Revolutionary War. Some of the topics that you can do are the Boston Tea Party, the Battle of uh, Saratoga, and the Va and Valley Forge. There are many others to choose, but these are just a few. We are required to have a visual aid and uh, such as a poster, a diorama, or a PowerPoint, like this is the diorama, and these would be some examples of posters. Some of the classes are already done, but those who aren't get busy for fifth grade. Uh, now back to the anchors. Thanks, fifth grade. So, Kaylin, what do you plan on doing this summer? Oh, you know, hanging out with friends, sleeping in, going to my cabin in the pool, going to play some softball, just things like that. What about you? Probably going to go visit some family, hang out at the pool, get a lot of sleep, watch some fireworks, go to the park, go camping, hang out with friends. Okay, well, why he rambles on about his summer plans, let's go to sixth grade. Would you rather have two pints of pop or two quarts? Well, me being a big pop drinker, I would choose two quarts because it is bigger. I'm talking about pints and quarts because that is what the sixth grade is doing in math. We are studying weight and capacity, which is the measurement of liquid and solid items. We are also studying customary and metric measurement systems, changing metric units, and measures of time. In class, we have examples of what fluid ounces, pints, quarts, and gallons look like. Some classes that have formula and vocab sheets that we use to write down important things and vocab words from each section. By now, most of the sixth grade classes have taken the quiz and are close or already have taken the test. Well, good luck, sixth graders. This has been Courtney. Now to Chris. See ya. Hey, in sixth grade, we're doing some great things to finish out the year. In social studies area, we are doing what everyone waits all year for, mini society. In mini society, your homeroom becomes a mini town in which you have in which you have a bank and people have jobs. Everyone gets three daily jobs for things like having your agenda filled in. You can apply and interview for harder, better paying jobs like treasure. But what everyone really wants to do is run a business. After learning the basics of marketing, you get to think of a business idea, hire employees, design a product, and on business days you sell your product. Now you don't have US dollars. You vote on a currency name and have a design contest to choose what the bills will look like. On a business day, you can stay at your business or go out to see what others have to sell. All right, now I'm going to try Collins games. Let's take a look at some of the businesses our students have started. The fifth graders definitely have something to work, look forward to. Now the anchors. Thank you very much, sixth grade. I remember mini society. It was really fun. Yeah, it was. What kind of business did you have, Dulty? I made wallets. Oh, cool. Yep. Well, now we're off to grade seven with their report. 
Alrighty, sounds like a plan. Hey WCMS, I'm Courtney and I'm here with Miss Foss. Sadly, this is her last year teaching at the middle school. So Miss Foss, where will you be going after the school year is over? I'm moving to Winterset, Iowa. Okay, and will you continue teaching? I hope so. Uh, what will you miss most about the middle school? Well, I'll miss the students. I'll miss Mrs. Hacker Kluver. Um, I don't think people realize what a supportive and dedicated principal she is. And what advice do you have for the incoming seventh graders? I would advise them to participate in class and also use their class time wisely. It's not necessarily the students who spend more time outside of school working on homework who do well. It's the students who use their class time and are engaged in class who tend to do well. Um, what's your favorite unit to teach? We're studying Asia right now, and because it's so different, it's really interesting to learn about. And what's your favorite book that we've read aloud this year? Milkweed by Jerry Spinelli. Thank you. Hello, Cal here. I'm going to tell you about middle school investigations. This is offered for all Webster City Middle School students who will be in 5th grade, 6th grade, 7th grade, 8th grade, or 9th grade. You can sign up for as many ses sessions as you would like. You pay $5 and you get $5 back when you're done. You have to get the money into the office by Thursday, May 20th. Some of the, <laughs> the activities I would like would be weird science and extreme engineering. If you are a fourth grader going into fifth grade, you should check out fabulous fifth grade findings. Now to the anchors for some eighth grade news. So Jolty, this middle school investigation sounds pretty fun, don't they? Yeah, it does. They're from the week June 14th to 25th. Are you going? Nah, I don't think so. Oh, uh, all right. Well, let's go see the eighth graders and hear their reports. Hi, this is Colin reporting. Recently, the 8th graders have started a new unit on mythology in our language class. This unit is about the ancient Greek people's beliefs on the gods, such as Zeus, Poseidon, Hades, and so forth. Zeus was the king of the gods, and he was the god of the sky. Poseidon was the god of the sea, and Hades was the god of the underworld. There are a lot of interesting things about this subject, but we need to get to Cooper on his report about our art teacher, Mrs. Nigemeyer. Hey, I'm Cooper, and I'm reporting on the longtime art teacher, Miss Nygmeier. Mrs. Nygmeier is retiring this year and will be missed. So, Mrs. Nygmeier, how long have you been teaching at, here at WCMS? I've been at WCMS 36 years. I started as a paraprofessional at the high school, and when I started teaching, I've been teaching now 32 years art. What are you planning on doing during your retirement? Enjoying time off. We're going to do a lot of artwork going to go places, and then I'm thinking I'd like to work yet, so I'm going to look around. What was the hardest project for the students? Hmm. I would say in eighth grade doing p portraits and learning to do acrylic paint. I have high expectations that they do the very best so they're ready for their high school days and know they have to put out a lot of effort. What are you going to miss about Webster City Middle School? Well, I'm going to miss the kids and the teachers I work with. I think that that's been the most professional, neatest people I've ever met are all the teachers that have been here and all the variety of kids I've met over 33 years. It's, quite, it's been fun. Do you have any advice for the, teacher, for the art teacher next year? Well, I would just tell her to give it her best shot and that she's going to learn every year something different, how to handle kids and what to do with them. Uh, things are changing technology-wise. That's getting a little harder for me. And it, it's just an ever-changing job. Thank you, Mrs. Nygmeier. Mrs. Nygmeier, you're the best teacher ever. You made art fun. And you're the funniest teacher I've ever had. Mrs. Nigemeyer, I really enjoyed the pottery for eighth grade. I really enjoyed my four years of art with you, Mrs. Nigemeyer. I really enjoyed the portrait unit, and every day it made me look forward to art. Um, 
Ms. Nigemeyer, thank you for teaching four years of great art. Um, thank you. And thank you for helping me with my pot when I really need to help. Ms. Nigemeyer, I enjoyed having you for the last four years, and I'll always remember the Naughty Noodle. Thank you, Ms. Nigemeyer, for making art so fun for the two years I've been here. Um, yeah. Uh, wishing you the best. Uh, you're a great teacher. I love you, Mama Nig. <laughs> you're awesome, Mrs. Nigemeyer. We're going to miss you. Hey, Miss Nigemeyer. One thing we will never forget about you is your sword, the naughty noodle, and the flying squirrel that you re just recently got. We love those things. We'll, we'll miss, miss you. Now back to our anchors. Let's share some upcoming events. There's the torch run for the Special Olympics on Thursday the 20th. And a concert on Tuesday the 25th. And then the WC to DC meeting for the 7th graders go interested in going. Is right after the concert. Well, that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching. From, From the, the Middle. middle.